Okay folks, time to get dressed up because we're checking out the fashion and design capital of the world in Milan, Italy. The capital of the Lombardy region and the second most populous city in Italy after Rome, Milan is in a prime location with being only about an hour drive from Lake Como, which is an outstanding vacation area for celebrity elites and us poor folk too. As mentioned, the city is a fashion hub with some of the world's most exclusive brands headquartering here, with the likes of Armani, Prada, Valentino, and Versace to name a few. This attracts many high-end shoppers and in turn has established Milan as being known for high-end restaurants as well, so I hope you save enough money. I'm going to work my way to Milan's biggest draw and for that I'm going to start off with a not so well-known attraction. Did you know that Milan has not one but two canals? Yeah, neither did I, and the Nevilio Grande is the place to be on a warm sunny day. Originally constructed in 1177, the canal is an amazing place to walk or just sit and watch the day go by. It's lined with old buildings, some of the best restaurants, cafes and shops, so it's definitely not a one-stop spot and I'd block off a good afternoon and even an evening as well because things keep happening at all hours of the night. Making our way towards the Parco Sempione, you can stop off at the Church of Santa Maria del Grazi to view Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper which is a pretty incredible and famous mural, or hit up the massive Arch of Peace for a great photo opportunity. And while you're here, I'm sure in the photo you're going to get our next attraction, Castello Sforzesco, a 15th century castle with extensive grounds and gardens surrounding it. In such a massive city, it's a welcome site for a place to unwind and enjoy some local history. Complete with a great central guard tower and filled with small museums, this castle is a lovely spot for an afternoon stroll as well. The best part of Milan, and where you'll find every tourist for at least part of their visit, is at the Grand Piazza del Duomo. This huge square is for holding people, and boy does it do that. Surrounded by the most impressive architecture, bars and restaurants, a royal palace, and topped off with a statue of the first king of United Italy, Vittorio Emmanuel, please take some time enjoying this place because it's absolutely worth it, especially considering there's so much more to see here as well. The entrance to one of those things is directly on the side of the square and it'll take you to one of the most impressive shopping malls you'll ever see. Grand Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II is an extremely elegant indoor shopping area created in 1877 and also one of the oldest. Don't get too excited though because you'll need to spend that hard earned cash here if you want to get anything. It's full of those famous high-end designers, so perhaps window shopping is the safer way to go here. Or better yet, head back out to the piazza and marvel at the most famous building in the entire city, the Milan Cathedral. This beauty took over 600 years to complete, with starting in 1386 and not finishing until 1965. I can't imagine the construction bill for that. Most cathedrals look quite similar both inside and out, but not this one. The outside has some crazy impressive architecture and detail that rival very few, and the inside is adorned with some of the most beautiful stained glass you can find, so I encourage a really thorough visit to this one. Milan hits well above its stature and I hope you enjoyed some of the amazing things it has to offer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and keep watching more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching.